To be able to sit in the classroom and actually do something uh, kind of provides a, a, a different type of experience in the classroom. And then to have somebody like Mr. Joe Metvey, who's world-renowned in latent fingerprinting, to have him come and share with us kind of provides a different perspective, not only for the students, but for some of the folks that are, because not everybody in the class are uh, CJ majors, some of them are uh, science majors. My major psychology can also tie into criminal, you know, criminal justice and stuff like that, but this is my favorite thing all year, is just the fingerprint stuff, that's so cool. I always wondered, watching NCIS and you know, all that stuff, how they do it. I am a big proponent of education, and I do like passing on the knowledge, skill, and ability that I've acquired over the last 35 years. And if we can make these students enjoy forensic science and better forensic professionals, that's what it's all about. It was so cool that it uncovered like what was really on there because you don't expect, I didn't expect that many prints to be on a Pringles top. <laughs> Fingerprints has been used for 110 years. Fingerprints will always be used because we can positively identify the perpetrator. Now there's a lot of different techniques in acquiring or recovering those fingerprints and what we did today was the simplest basic method.